Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, I don't know if you can tell if I move my head, then the sun starts being in the way, so I'm trying to deflect the sun. It was a little bit worse right now. I think it's starting to shine bright like a diamond someplace else. <laughs> yeah, feel up, brother. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. It helps promote to new cheese mozos and cheese mozas, and I only do more giveaways with the more subscribers. You feel it, brother. But let's Go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to Elijah's a big child trapped in a man's body. That fool's just missing Elsie's money. He really needs to start Instacarty. Oh. Now, the first thing that we're gonna be talking about, I haven't done this in a minute, but maybe you guys can guess who we're talking about. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Can somebody guess? Can somebody guess? Did you guys guess right? <laughs> if you guys guess right, we're going to be talking about Mr. Lennon McBroomiff. Now, if you guys didn't see, his ex-girlfriend exposed the living cheeks out of him. The living burnt butt cheeks of his. Now, I did actually hit her up to see if we could get an interview going on. I did it in Spanish. Now, I, I thought it would be really interesting to do like a Spanish interview. I'm not too quite sure if she's going to respond to me. So, I did reach out to her. We'll see what happens. But she had this to say in response to Landon. My... Be together anymore and i don't want to speak too much on the reasons behind it out of respect for her but basically we're just in two different places in life and you know that happens obviously you wish some things were known before you got to a certain level but it's okay it's perfectly fine everything works out exactly as it's supposed to and things in the cordial there's no hard feelings at all uh, for her, I only have love for her. She's an amazing person, um, an amazing friend, and I meant all of that. And I don't regret any of the time spent on that situation. Um, but yeah, so now, guys, I'm basically just taking the time <laughs> to reflect. Like really bad comments, and I feel really bad. Like he knows that this is affecting me. I'm looking like I'm the worst. I'm the one who broke his heart. I'm the one who, like, is the bad witch in this story. When I, everything I did was being loyal, respectful, open my heart again, and try give it a chance. Me, I cannot accept him posting other girls just like that. And her mom, child. Like, this is serious. This is very serious. So. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it anymore, and he just say like we're in different pathways, like we're in different pathways in life. Like this is, if this is something that bothers me, then he's not gonna do it anymore. But like this is the third time he does that, like posting his ex-wife, his ex-girlfriends in the past. So I don't know if this is a drama, this is a business. I don't care. Me, I'm Jessica. I very honest I was always honest in everything I put him first I defend him to all the people who was telling me that this is wrong being with him and I was saying like you know I'm gonna show everybody like this this is real but this is wasn't real se los digo ahora en español se los digo en español para poder expresarme mejor pues sí esto ha sido un proceso muy fuerte muy fuerte porque yo siempre trato de mostrarles a ustedes mi mejor cara, mis mejores energías, todos los resultados, pero esto ha sido un proceso muy fuerte porque además de ser una ruptura, esta persona está intentando hacer que yo luzca mal, de que yo fui la enemiga de todo esto y me está trayendo mucha negatividad a todo lo que yo hago. Y saber que una persona, una persona que en realidad te quiere, al menos te respeta, aún así no estando contigo, que era lo que yo hacía. Yo decía, pues, lo quiero tanto que yo sería incapaz de hablar de él o de lo que pasó porque eso es entre él y yo. Pero él quiere involucrarlos a todos ustedes, incluyendo a mis seguidores, y yo no voy a dejar que eso pase. Simplemente les hablo abiertamente, yendo un poco al grano, simplemente no voy a dejar que un hombre apague mi luz ni nadie. Nadie merece 
hiciste esto en la vida. Tú tienes que escoger a la pareja que va a iluminar tu camino, que va a ser la que pone música a tu alrededor. Y pues esta persona simplemente quería que yo no saliera más en videos musicales, no quería que yo modelara simplemente en cualquier... Simplemente quería controlarme y a un punto en el que me quería vivir con él y gracias a Dios que todos los colores se dieron a temprano tiempo porque tomar malas decisiones y apuradas creo que iba a ser de lo último y pues ya simplemente cuando por tercera vez y repetuosamente él posteó nada más y nada menos que su ex esposa que todos saben todo lo que pasó entre ellos dos um, creo que me pareció el final lo hizo tres veces lo volvería a hacer dentro de unos cuantos meses porque así Now for my panchitas that are no sabos and you guys heard the video of her talking in Spanish and you said Caca? What did she say? Uh, now to translate to what she said is basically uh, Mr. Landon was being really controlling and she said he's a freak of the week also known as a pervert Perverto to translate it, yeah, feel me. It was so funny when I went to Mexico. I started saying the word perverto, and all the people out there, like, because obviously that's not a word, started laughing at me. I said, You perverto, and they looked at me like, oh, Foo, really? Foo, what, what, what the heck's perverto? Actually, the word pervert in Spanish, but I customized it, yeah, feel me. Perverto. <laughs> Doesn't that sound a lot better than the actual word? I don't know what the actual word is, but perverto. So back to the topic. Now, we were saying that she basically said, why do you keep posting Shyla Fu? Really, Fu? We already talked about this. We established this. And you really want to be a pinete, a chia brain, and keep posting her? That's the credit seminar question of the day. If you start dating someone and they keep reposting their baby mama, even after the baby mama said, please, please stop being a freak of the week. And then he keeps posting her, would you leave the moms too? I would skedaddle my way. I'm out. Skis. I don't want my girl posting somebody else. You feel me? Let alone he was always posting cocodrilo every other day. I don't know if he finds. He thinks that he finds this attractive. Now he kept posting cocodrilo every single day. You feel me? So I'm not too quite sure what he expected. Uh, no real girl. She kind of seems like a real loyal girl. No real girl is gonna really stay uh, and tolerate all that. <laughs> but he came out crying and giving out a fufu story. She came out and she said, Please. And did you guys see that Miss Shadi Bay revealed that Mr. Welito has a crush on Melody Sita? Now, there's a video going around that he allegedly kissed Melody, but he came out and said that that actually was fake. But he had this to say yesterday, along with Shadi. My word. No, he told me, I could tell you tea. He said he wants to kiss you in the, uh, your lips. What? <laughs> no. He said. No, no, no. no yeah, no. you did, Don't bro. No. Wait, oh. it was frozen. I didn't hear nothing. Go forward in my mouth. He said he wants to kiss your juicy lips. <laughs> Shadi, what are you saying? Wait, didn't it, wait, didn't you say that you liked Oscar and that you wanted to kiss him too? Oh uh, no, I did not say that. What did oh lie in my name at this point? <laughs> anyway, he shade for you, honey bunch. At the party tomorrow we're going. She sh he shade for you. Anyways, Shadi, what are you on? He told me in the car. He told me in the car, bro. Oh my, I'm for sure gonna be shyness for tomorrow then. Yup, he's shaved. He's got to buy some clothes, cute clothes. Anyways, my makeup. Ew, that's awkward. Oh Anyways. my god, those you guys blushiness. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I mean, um. <laughs> what? We know damn well, Melody. That we're, we're just friends. What? I know we are. Well, need to stop now. You know, Damo and Loki. Anyways. Oh, I mean, um. Do you hear me? <laughs> what? We know damn well, Melody. That we're, we're just friends. What? I know we are. We need to stop lying. You know, Damo and Loki. Anyways. It must be an day one day. Imagine you, Juanito, and me and Oscar go on a double day. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I there. guess we need to go. Oh, I mean, um. We need to stop lying. You know, Damo, you want Melody. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> Is she even <laughs> having your sister? <laughs> I said, everybody wants Melody? Jose Ochoa, el bailador. 
Our noir, the one that sings like a pollito. It was just a little bit strange. But then she came out, Miss Shiny said that she was just joking around. I think everyone knew it was kind of like a little bit of a joke. But do you guys think that Mr. Walito actually has a crush on Melody? To my knowledge, they're going to some sort of party that Melody is hosting. Maybe the cheese man is going to be coming out soon. And did you guys see with Must Be Cindy? Now, I guess she has some sort of product. And she responded over on TikTok Live about basically that it's not a scam. Because some people were saying that it's a scam, that it doesn't work, that it's foo-foo. She had this to say, my God. So, at the end of the day, I'd rather be this bitch than that bitch, to be honest with you. So, they can keep posting and posting and posting. There's a lot of people that don't like me. That's fine. It's it's just funny to me. Like, must be Cindy's the biggest scammer. Bitch, I have not fucking scammed a mother in, like, in my life. Like, everyone that I've given something to, given given something away to, I've given it to them. Every someone, Everybody that I've sold something to, they've loved it. And they're mad at that. Like, have never even bought a thing off of you. But they're right there like, oh, that's scammer, scammer. Like, bañense a la verga. I've never been scammed by you and I've bought everything by far and I've loved it. Con los no se meten, period, yeah. And some girl messaged me yesterday. She's like, damn, you're still not over it. As soon as they um, are back in stock, I will let you guys know. She can still come across going through things like that. Like, I'm not saying my kid is perfect, but my, my kid, like, my kid is good right now. But, you know, like, oh, period, Poncho with the, with the TikTok gifts. Thank you, King. I appreciate you. Coachella is different. I mean, personally, I never tried it, but by the looks of the comments, a lot of people were saying que echan pedos. But I'm talking about pedorros. Ya feel me? Son chorros. I'm not trying to test this because I'm not trying to have the, that good, good chorro. But make sure to comment down below if you guys ever tried it. You guys think it's actually legit. And for the world news, something really interesting. Did you guys see the Titanic ship? They were able to get a 3D, I guess, uh, of the ship a little bit better, a lot better, actually. <laughs> So I think this is pretty cool that they're able to do this with the ship that's sunk into the bottom. They can do like a 3D printing because then now maybe they can do like a 3D of the whole ocean and we can do some investigation. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel because we don't want to be known as TikToker. The TikToker followers are climbing up really fast exponentially. We need to catch up over here. I appreciate it, my little fool, and have a wonderful day. Dale, cabrón, tú nunca vas a quitarme a Carol G, jamás. Jamás, cabrón. Yo, ella me llama para decirle que haga falta en su cama, cabrón, porque tú no sabes meter el bicho, cabrón. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Porque ella, ella, ella es el amor de mi vida, ella es el amor de mi vida y ella se va a acordar conmigo. Yo sé perfectamente que ella me extraña porque tú no la haces gritar como yo, cabrón. ¿Qué? Dale, pues. Dale, cabrón. Bueno, entonces. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Después decir que me desbloqueé, porque me bloquearon por tu culpa, cabrón, porque no quiere que vea mi, mi bicho, mi bicho, cabrón. En la foto del Instagram no quiere que me vea, cabrón. Estoy llorando. Ahí está, cabrón, dile que, dile que me desbloqueé, dile que me, que me desbloqueé y que me llame, cabrón. ¿Qué?